Right, here we have a Rakel Gardel IR772 Mark II. Um, I am really sad though because um, Swap Security told me that it was water damaged and that's why like, they didn't have a system upgrade, it was just this PIR here. Like, and for some reason I think I'm going to believe them because it's, you know, it's not, like, detecting me. Um, well, the zone, it's, the, the zone, like, the relay is always open and this LED never goes off. But yeah, apparently why it was water damaged, they told me, is that it was seeping through the ceiling and dripping onto the PIR. And then when I got it, it was wet, so I had to dry it off, so obviously it wasn't enough, so... Now the thing is absolutely buggered. So, I'm going to open it up here for you. Whoa. Just a sec, might have some poor connections. And here's the back of it, it has no back plate, I don't think. For a sec, I thought this was the back clip, but I don't think it is. Yeah, I'm just going to disconnect this because I'll end up shorting something out over there. Yep. So as you can see, is the wiring. I wonder if there's any of, any of these links have anything to do with it. I'm gonna have to sort this out, aren't I? Oh, the warrant is voided. It'll be voided anyway, this thing's like a million goddamn years old. Yeah, that link didn't do anything, all it did was turn the LED on and off. And what else I realised? This thing has no tamper switch. There's little t t contacts there that make contact with the circuit board around one of these probably one of these uh, contact pins, probably these ones, yeah, because it's next to LED, so that'll be its tamper switch there. I think the vehicle IR771, the, the, Mark, the Mark 1 of this one, I think that has a tamper switch. The Mark 2 and the Mark 3 doesn't, yeah. And as well as a white lens, because the Mark 1 and the Mark 3 have black lenses. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, unfortunately it's water damage, peace.